Powdery mildews are a collection of obligately biotrophic fungal pathogens of land plants, specifically angiosperms or flowering plants. Powdery mildews belong to an order of fungi known as the erysipheles, and they are biotrophic as opposed to necrotrophic, meaning that they interact with living tissue in order to feed, rather than interacting with dead tissue, and they are also obligate pathogens, meaning they require their host to exist whereas faculative pathogens can exist without their host. The ancestral hosts of powdery mildews are plants in the family Asteraceae, like daisies and sunflowers, which are a highly successful group of the most speciose flowering plants, the most recent common ancestral group of which is thought to have developed a minimum of 85 million years ago in the Cunician age of the Cretaceous period in the South American continent according to molecular clock estimations. Asteraceae are thought to have had several important radiation events in the North American, Asian, and African continents, with 95% of currently existing species having developed from diversification events in the middle of the Paleogene period approximately 42 million years ago, coinciding with the Middle Eocene climactic optimum when the Earth warmed after a period of cooling. Powdery mildews likely did not develop in the South American continent, but a lack of phylogenetic information makes it hard to speculate. Powdery mildews in general have a unique genomic architecture compared to others of the Ascomycetes or filamentous fungi, which is to say that it is rather large, with many transposable elements and a loss of conserved fungal genes. The five major lineages or tribes of the erysipheles in the family Erysiphiaceae are Erysiphiae, Golovinomycetiae, Phylactiniae, Cystotheciae, and Blumeriae, which radiated between the Maastrichtian Age of the Cretaceous period and the Eprisian Age of the Paleogene period 70 to 50 million years ago. Around the same time that their primary hosts in the Asteraceae diversified. The two most basal genera of powdery mildews currently recognized are the Paraunsinula and the Cespedotheca, which make up a sister group to the other five tribes that diverged 80 to 90 million years ago, between the Campanian and Maastrichtian ages of the Cretaceous period, and there's a strong implication that like the species in these genera, other powdery mildews in the five tribes that infect tree-like plants and have an uncinuloid appendage may be more basal. Uniquely, the oak-infesting paraunsinula species do not reproduce asexually and have a small genome and transposable element content, and this may be in part because the expansion of genes related to virulence and infection success are specific to more modern lineages, particularly those that infect plants with a comparatively higher selection pressure due to more rapid host life cycles in, for example, annual agricultural species. In such a context, rapid evolution and a highly malleable genome is much more advantageous. The closest relatives of the powdery mildews based on genetic analyses are fungi in the family Myxotrichaceae of the order Onigenales which are known to colonize plant debris and encode genes for cellulase, an enzyme that breaks down the cellulose that makes up plant cells, just as in powdery mildews. This may imply that the ancestral powdery mildew developed from a detriverous group that gained pathogenic virulence traits over time and became the powdery mildews.